What's going on everybody? Got a couple of quick little hunts for you from the bay. Changed it up a little bit. Skipped the farm this time. Uh, be going back there soon though. Um, John's been going a few times without me, but uh, I've been hitting a couple other spots. So just to kind of change it up a little bit. Sometimes the same scenery gets a little old. But anyway, um, ended up going to the bay. Turned out to be a very uh, productive hunt, that's for sure. Um, got some good stuff. So take a look at the videos, and uh, I'll see you in the wrap-up. All right, nice 23, 24 signal. Uh, that's going to be silver. According to the edge, that's silver. Sweet, second rosy. Another small dime-shaped project. Maybe silver. Dead red fish. Red dead fish or fish dead red red. Anyway. Got this little uh, doodad. Looks like an old earring. I think the rest of it's actually in the scoop. I don't know if it's gold or brass. It doesn't look gold. Right. Moving on. I got something in my scoop. It looks gold to me. Sure is. Part of the gold chain. Let's see if I can find the rest of it in this swamp of a mess. A nice 30 32 signal. A big round disc. It's heavy. And it's gonna be silver. Let's see if we can get a. Looks like it's gonna be Washington. According to what I see right now. Yep, Washington. I'll get a date off of it. Oh, wait. Fifty... Fifty-six. Sweet. First target of the day. Mercadine. It's actually in better shape than most of them. I gotta turn my camera down here. See it? Cool, show you pictures later. That, that big round gray thing in the basket. We'll see if it's a coin. It's a coin, it's awful thick. Oh yeah, it's a coin. It's gonna be a silver quarter. Nothing else in the scoop. Oh, there's a sinker. And the scoop too, that's why it's a funny signal. Yeah. You can see the bottom of Washington. 1949 or 43, I can't tell out here. We'll get cleaned up later at home. Cool. This little chain has got the color of silver. Well, when it's in this water, it's that color anyway. But cool. Hold on. I just got me a buffalo nickel. How do you like that? It's a pretty good shape for a buffalo nickel in the water. Cool. I'm probably yelling because my face is right over the camera. Sorry. First sweet penny. It's a 53D. Nice. First one I got in there that I can actually read. Anyway, we're done. Well, I don't know if you can see 
too, huh? Put that marker down. Yeah, it's some kind of token. It says Pro World. Can't read it. It's heavy. Some kind of token. Ten cents. Pro World. Ten cents. Maybe it's a euro. Older euro or something. I don't know. Weird. We'll look at it later. Got a uh, pretty solid 24 signal. Wouldn't go away. This guy may have. What is that? It's the quarter that lost all its cladding. Oh, that's interesting. Hang on, I'll show it to you in a minute. I know you're not in the camera. what this is. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's cladding over the lost its cladding. It's just a copper center left. We'll look at it a little closer when we get home. Yeah, I think so. Cool. I don't know if it's clad yet or if it's silver, but we'll find out together. Ah, it's clad. That's alright. Quarter's a quarter. All adds up in the end. I don't know if it's clad yet or if it's silver, but we'll find out together. Ah, it's clad. That's all right. Quarter's a quarter. All adds up in the end. Got an old glass fuse. That's a cool find. Bring up an eight, ten, eleven. You see that? That's gold. That's gold, baby. It says 14K. Beautiful little crucifix ring. I shall take that. That makes my day. By the way, there was like two pieces of copper, a piece of brass, and I saw that flash when I picked the scoop up out of the water. All right, moving on. Let's see if we can get another one. Just, oh, I dropped it. Hope you enjoyed those videos. A little short. The video quality wasn't the same because uh, you know, I'm using the GoPro, so it's a little off. But uh, and it's it's hard to remember to hit the record button. Anyway, hope you enjoyed those videos. I'm gonna put a picture up of the very first segment that I had because that was a while ago. I just decided to add it in because it was so short. So uh, I'll put that up now. And now uh, let's move on to the finds from these most recent hunts. It was uh, two consecutive days. Um, same spot, about five hours total of hunting. So let's see what we got. So here we are. Uh, we'll start down here at the bottom. Did end up pulling up some nice pieces of some older pottery. Um, I like collecting that kind of stuff. Matter of fact, I got a... I got a jar back here full of glass from the beach. Uh, another piece of sea glass. That was some thick glass. Uh, this little piece here was really cool. Uh, very ornate. Not sure what it was to, but a little sharp, but I'm going to keep it anyway. Uh, this looks like it was off of a like an old one of those old briefcases or something. Uh, just a nice little piece of brass latch. It was pretty cool. Um, did have a nice key it is a national lock padlock actually this and a few other objects were actually in the same hole um and we're gonna put that in our our key jar uh had this not sure if it was a ring at one time uh nothing left of it so it was junk but um got a nice glass fuse uh eagle that was pretty cool. That was a cool find. Uh, 
type of uh, swivel tie down kind of thing. I think it was somebody's homemade anchor because there was a rope tied to this and I cut the rope off. Didn't need it. Uh, to get a nice little mooring piece. It's also brass. Um, old spike. Some sort. It looks like it may be broken at the tip. Anyway, I uh, got a Schrader valve stem. Um, retaining nut. So that was cool. Nice to find that old stuff. Getting to the coins now. Uh, we had a Canadian, uh, a bunch of wheat pennies. Um, these these here are all wheats, and you can tell this was a Washington quarter. That was the one I couldn't figure out in the video, but that's all that's left of it. And what's the lost all its cladding? It's just a copper core. Um, this was also a wheat penny. Here, you can see EMT. It's about all that's left. Uh, so, yeah. That was gone in the ocean. And then this ended up being not a foreign coin. It is a token. And it's called Trop World. Ten cents. Uh, it was one of the only fractional tokens or fractional coins for... Uh, the Tropicana in Atlantic City. Eh, it dates back in the mid 1980s and they discontinued it shortly. In uh, I think 88 or 85, they discontinued them. So that was pretty cool. Uh, that's a little keepsake. I'll put that in there with the tokens and tags. Um, we got that in 1906 uh, Indian Head Penny, is what we end up with that. It's got some cool uh, toning to it from the, from the beach. Love Indian head pennies. Uh, did get me a 47 nickels. So it's an older nickel. I'll probably just go back into the clad. I did get a buffalo. And believe it or not, it's actually not in that bad a condition for being in the bay. Um, so it does say under the scope I can see 1929. So that's uh, my second. Uh, I didn't head with a date. I didn't think it would be out of the bay, though. Uh, let's see. 1949, Washington. Uh, this dime was a 26, 28, I don't remember. If I, 30, 38. Yeah, 38. Uh, one of these I couldn't even get a date off of. It was just so toasted from the salt water. So, three Mark Dimes, those are 42 on that one. Uh, and then, of course, the best find was this uh, 14 karat crucifix ring. It is a small ring, but it's 14 karat. So, that would be gold. And, uh, yeah, so that'll about do it for this round. Hope you guys enjoyed that video, and... Uh, trying to get some more videos posted i've been a little slow lately with doing that i've been wrapped up with work and it's been hot out and everything else so I'll try to get you some more videos um, more readily available um until then we'll see you on the next one take it easy